All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're going to be discussing my power washing trailer, 100% custom made. Um, the trailer frame itself is an old camper. Um, I got it, it was already stripped down, had the boards on it. It was 16 feet a deck at the point in time. Um, but for this setup, I knew it was going to be too long. It had a lot of tail spin for getting in tight spots. So I cut it down to about 13 feet rewelded everything on the back which we'll get to and um got some new tires or anything on it that is the trailer itself the everything on it we're going to be at we'll start up here with the power washer it's a ve industrial series um 5.6 gallon per minute got a honda uh v twin uh, yeah v twin gx 690 motor on it as soon as you start this, the whole thing starts pumping water. It's belt driven to the pump, so as soon as the motor's turning, the pump's turning. Um, it's got a general pump motor, general pump pump on it. Supposed to be one of the best ones out there. Uh, it doesn't really say a model number or nothing, but um, it is heated. It's got a diesel burner on it, which is right here, actually. There's a power inverter from the motor comes up and powers this and everything uh, electric start and everything of course up here in the goose this is pretty neat um it had a propane holder on it i cut it off and everything and i welded three more crossbars in there just to have this for a nice um compartment just to hold extra gas and diesel and the soap and uh whatever else we stick the blocks in there from the jack and everything uh moving down this side I got a 100 foot garden hose on here. I haven't got mounted yet, just to hook to a well. But we have a 50 gallon soap tank. Uh, we have about 20, yeah, 20, 20 couple gallons in it right now. Um, coming on back here, the toast. These are 250 gallon food grade tanks. Got a hand valve there, and we just run a garden hose up to the pump. Works pretty well. And then if you need to refill the soap, you can just. If you don't want to use the lawn, you can just unhook it from the pump and it'll have enough gravity feed to fill the tank. Um, new tires on it. Repainted the whole thing, repainted the boards, uh, put TR wrench on it. It had like no lights at all on it, so I added LEDs and everything to it, added mud flaps. Um, second tote, this one we only carry half full. This is kind of like a reserve. Um, we carried half, that way you don't have as much weight and then um, to save your main tank, I kind of had this to refill the soap and everything, so this is just a spare. Maybe if we get into a lot, we'll fill the second one all the way up, but it's there. Um, this bumper was on it. This is the piece I cut off and I shortened it, re welded it, and then of course I have the LEDs and everything to it. Uh, this side's pretty much the same, new tires and everything. Then up here, we're starting to get into where all the magic happens. Um, 100 foot hose reel, even though we got about 125 feet on it. Um, it just has a short hose. One of the quick coupler here, in case anybody wants to know how to set one up. Just have a short piece running into the hose reel. Um, soap dispenser, we just turn this for more or less. Have it up all the way, but that's just all the soap. Um, consists of you just switch the tips out for a low pressure tip and it'll start drawing soap on its own. Um, of course, gas, diesel here. Oh, here's part of the belt driven system and the side of the motor and everything. This I did myself, this was custom. I just welded a couple pieces of pipe on here for the wand just to have a nice convenient place for it. Everything kind of works off this passenger side. Um, controls for this, extra tips. I have a bunch more order just in case we lose some. On and off for the burner, you just set the uh, temperature right there and it gets no problem getting hot. Um, it heats up in a matter of a minute or two and it stays hot. There's no doubt about that. Um, anything I'm missing? Anything you wanna talk about? The motor? And it's got these drain lines. Oh yeah, these, these are pretty, uh, I don't even know the word. 
ingenuity. I don't know, forward thinking. Uh, I put real long drain lines on this for changing the oil. This one's for the pump. You can change the gear oil in it. This, of course, is for the motor. You can change the motor oil right there in the front. Super convenient. Um, in case you were wondering, ever want to get tips on it, if you want to do this yourself or something, um, I didn't mount the boards. I ran a piece of steel and braced it underneath. And I ran the cross beams right here because there's a cross beam going this way just to help brace that. I was afraid if I mounted to the lumber and over time the lumber would just start to rot and get soft. So I wanted something with steel. So loaded that piece in, braced it, and then this just bolts straight down to that. And I mean, she ain't going nowhere. Tubs, the totes themselves, I didn't have to do anything with bracing because there was already plenty of cross beams there at the rear, at the axles, so uh, they were pretty much just uh, sat on top of two different, this one's actually under, there's three beams under that one, two here. And then we fastened these totes down with these two by sixes or one by six, whatever they are. Just ran them across the other side and screwed them down tight, kind of bowed them down on each side. Keeps them tight. Um, there's going to be more things being added to it, so we do an updated video maybe in a couple weeks or something. Keep an eye out for it just to see all the extra little things we put on it. But I think I got it wrong. What about you? All right, thanks for watching. Subscribe and hit the like button. See you later.